Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Libra in, I almost said January, Jesus. I'm trying to skip ahead, huh? Uh, in October 2020. Apologies, Libra, for October 2020. How are you doing, Libra? How is everybody feeling? Hopefully, wherever you are in the world, you are safe, happy, healthy, and secure. And I am hope I hope that you're doing well overall. Uh, right off the bat, Libra, happy birthday. It is your season. Welcome to it. Uh, if you are celebrating your day or if you're just relaxing, whatever you choose to do as you celebrate your own solar return, I hope it's an amazing day. I hope that the people that are around you are, are pleasant <laughs> and that you just have a wonderful day, okay? Um, and also, uh, uh, happy Halloween if you will be celebrating at the end of the month. Uh, any other announcements? Yes, for you, Libra, yes, in particular. Uh, I will be doing your live for your birthday season on uh, October the 10th at 7 p.m. here on the channel. So if you are available at that time and you have a question for me and all my tarot decks, feel free to stop by. Again, it's on the 10th, October 10th at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're, you know, if you're not able to join me at that time, I do apologize, but I haven't really found a better time frame for myself personally to do it. If you guys have suggestions, I take it, you know. If you're like, do it at 3 a.m., I'd be like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so 7 p.m. on the 10th, if you guys are available, come hang out. If you don't even have a question, but you just want to say hi and, and see what the readings are, you're perfectly welcome to do that as well, okay? All right, guys, let's get into it. Libra, anything that you want from me, it's already in the description box. So if you want the timestamp, it's down there. Information on how to purchase a personal reading with me is also down there. If you have a question before you place an order, just email me at the same address that you see listed there, and I will answer you as soon as I can. If you're interested in doing donations directly to the channel, directly to me, for anything that you see here on the, on the channel, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can use the PayPal app or the Cash app that's provided there. Uh, and if you're interested in following me on Instagram, the link for my account is down there as well. If you want to follow me, it is Empathic Fire Tarot on Instagram, okay? All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's see the outcome, please, for Libra in October 2020. Libra, October 2020. Let's see the outcome, please. interesting what was that I just smelled something it smells like chemicals like a sawmill or something which is weird I don't think I've ever stepped foot in a sawmill in my life are some of you guys like working with woods and oils and like band saws and things like that that's interesting bottom of the deck is the overall energy and that's very rare I'm not one of these people who like one of my extra sensory abilities isn't normally tied to the sense of smell but it has come through like a couple times before. Anyway, let's flip what came face down for you guys. Oh no. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this one too. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's see. I know this is not gonna be super even, but we'll, we'll roll with this. This looks okay. Yes, it looks okay. It's fine. It's fine, Jay. Get on with it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what's going on. Uh, please show me where Libra is in October 2020. Libra in October 2020. Please show me. All right, that was pretty quick. There we go. Libra, coming in to October, you come in with the energy of the Eight of Wands. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um... I forgot that this deck doesn't uh, focus very well. Um, anyway, uh, communication, talking, texting, sexting in some cases maybe, uh, emails, certain documents being sent back and forth, you know, needing approval or needing to be notarized, things like that. You know, important communication or um, pivotal communication is what this feels like. Um, in some cases it's business, in other cases it's personal. Um, but it's fast and it's uh, of importance or there's a certain, you know, like zhuzh about it. And I don't, I don't think you're supposed to use zhuzh in that way, but it, it feels like that. It's not casual. Mm, I shouldn't say that. There's intention. There you go. There are There's like intention with these messages. Um, outcomes that are being sought after. So again, if it's business or... or, or um, 
you know, uh, related to your job. It could be, again, like you're waiting for paperwork to be notarized, you're waiting for uh, official documents to be signed and sent back and filed in an office, you're waiting for loans to be approved, things like that. It's, it's super important that whatever is on paper, whatever is electronically delivered to you, it's important that you get it in, sign off on it, send it back, wait for the for them to tell you they've received it, wait for them to tell you that it's being processed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's like this back and forth, back and forth, or you're, or you're checking up on, you're, you're, you're um, going back and looking over and making sure all the processes uh, are, are being followed, like you don't want any delays, okay? Um, if it's private, like a personal thing, like a personal exchange of information, um, it still could be that, like, okay, this is very interesting. Like, some of you might be doing, and this is, I mean, look, Corona has 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 turned a lot of people to a lot of things. Some of you, and it's no, sh there's no shade here, because you know, as long as it's legal and as long as everybody consents and they're adults, I don't care. So some of you may have turned to like sex work, um, but like non-traditional se sex work. I mean, maybe you you're going the old-fashioned way, <laughs> and you're out there you know, pulling, pulling Johns off the street, maybe, but I'm feeling like, uh, you guys know, like, there's like, <laughs> there's like tons of, of, of avenues that you can get into for like cam work, webcam work, like only fans and like any old body can upload anything to any porno website that they want to. And again, there's no shade in it. Um, but I feel like there's like that kind of exchange going on. It could, it could be something, uh, a little like, it's very specific, like a little sugar baby and sugar daddy type situation, you know, like you have a client or two and, and, and it could go the other way too. It could be a sugar mommy and a sugar, a sugar, well, I guess it'd still be a sugar baby. What do you call a man who, a gigolo, I guess? <laughs> uh, but whatever it is, it's like somebody who pays high price for your favors, for your conversation, for your time for just looking at you through a camera, like that is happening for somebody. They've chosen to do that, they've been doing that, or you've roped a, roped a very large client who is wanting to exchange a lot of time with you uh, through texting and messaging and, you know, all the ways that we can connect in this, you know, digitized world, right? This digital frontier that we're on, right? Um, and it's, it's not really romantic for one of you. Like one of you might have a little bit of feeling in it, but another person is just like, no baby, this is business. Like as much as this is my private time and this is my personal time, it's also like my business time. So there might be a misunderstanding. This is so interesting that this is coming out for somebody. And of course, I don't think it's, <laughs> it's nowhere near the majority of Libras, but there's like somebody in this energy who is doing work like this to make ends meet in this time. So that could be where the feelings are coming in. Like you're not used to this and so you're catching feelings when maybe you shouldn't, or you've been doing this for a while, but you have someone who's new to, you know, interacting with, with, with uh, a quote unquote, like a star or like somebody within the game, right? And so like, they're not used to it being only business, like they're confused about this. Wow, that's so interesting. Um, anyway, messages is kind of the point of the Eight of Wands, okay? In whatever realm we're talking, the importance of messages, the intention behind messages, that's where I was going, the intention. So uh, in the business world, like I said, notarized, notarized papers and things being processed, that's the, that's the intention. In this private, sexy time thing with or without the, the the presence of sex work I feel for someone it's just casual fun or it's just business and for somebody else there's like a little 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 bit of a tinge like a little bit of a, a, a tang of feelings like actual feelings are developing and that that might be a problem okay yeah okay okay <laughs> so Yes. <laughs> so what it feels like, Libra, is that in some of your cases, there's been feelings developed when that was never the intention of another person. So this is this is a mismatch. This is unrequited. 
I don't want to say love because I don't think it's love. I think it's lust. Um, it's unrequited. That's the point. It's unrequited. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah. It's unrequited. Six of Pentacles right above the starting position. So, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of an interesting illustration uh, for for the Six of uh, Pentacles. But what we see is this woman extending her hand, possibly feeding that one rat standing on top of that barrel. And then another one's like, hey, what about me? And then you've got all those ones that are <clears throat> at the bottom who are just like, yeah, what about us? And it's just like, I mean, that could be, it doesn't have to be sex work. So let's just, you know, open it up to more than that. Like you could be an online influencer. You could be in, you know, private practice or private business, I should say. So maybe you have a service or, or, or something like that, but it's exclusive. So you only work with like, you know, high roller clients and you have lots of people who are sliding into your DMs. Oh my God, I love this. Like, like maybe you design things. Like maybe you're a designer. I love, I love that piece that you designed. Can I have that? And it's like, no, I actually made this exclusively for one person and I can't make any duplicates, da, 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 da. So people are possibly clamoring for your attention, Libra. And by the way, this is a general, it can be flipped. You could be doing this towards someone, uh, but there's not enough to go around, you know, the one rat <laughs> in this picture is being favored. And then you've got another one who's kind of singled out, just kind of looking on and is like, hey, come on, like it's my turn to be fed by hand. And then you've got all those ones down at the bottom who are just like hoping for crumbs. So it's like, it could be celebrity, it could be popular, you know, designer, it could be, you know, the sugar baby thing or the, or the gigolo thing, whatever there's not enough of you or not enough of your product to go around and the intention or the hope i would imagine in most cases is i wish i could i wish i could you know be able to fulfill the needs of my clients i wish i could you know if it's just you know quote unquote innocent um celebrity status you you wish you could respond to all of your fan mail or all the people who like maybe you do like a like Instagram live or something like that and there's like hundreds or thousands of people watching you right and there's questions coming and they're coming like a hundred miles a minute there's no way that you can answer all those questions and you wish that you could but it's not feasible it's not possible it's just it's just not happening right um in in going back to like the more <laughs> I suppose mundane uh, uh other situation where this is like work or like professional work or like waiting for paperwork you wish you had enough possible time or mm, okay you do wish you had more time so some of you are like on a deadline you might miss a deadline you might be up against the clock and like get something in at the last minute so you're sweating bullets a little bit some of you others of you you wish you had more money that's interesting why because pentacles often signal to money so why more money Ah, okay. Um, so it feels like Libra, like you, like some of you need to buy into something in order to make the most of it. Not like a scam, like a like a pyramid scheme or anything like that. If you, if you're in the middle of one, you know, God bless you, uh, because they're everywhere. Clearly. Um, and so be mindful of that. And you might be in the middle of a pyramid scheme, some of you, or you were the victim of a pyramid scheme and you're trying to recoup your money, maybe something like that. Um, another way that you guys need more money or someone needs more money is, um, you need more money to hire someone, you know, like maybe just in this illustration and please don't, you know, use the animal, like don't think, you know, poorly because it's, it's represented by rats, but maybe you've singled out like one particular person amongst a group. Cause again, the rats, the rats at the bottom are, is like a huge grouping of them. Right. And what do you call a rat? Like a net, a nest or something like that. Anyway, and you've singled out a person, but you can't afford their services. Mm, that could also play back to the whole sexy, you know, only fans, you know, exclusive you know join me join my only fans and see a bunch of naked pictures of me you know whatever and someone can't afford it you know but again i don't i don't think it's specific to uh the sex working thing 
Um, that can apply to like other services, other professional services, like literally like legal legal fees, maybe. If, if you've been sued and that was coming up last month, maybe for you guys. If not you guys, it was some other sign. I'm sorry. Um, but I know legal woes were like hammered down on a lot of a lot of different signs in September. You might have been one of them, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and if that's your situation, you can't afford the <laughs> the the representation. So maybe you're trying to find ways to 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 get in touch with this person. Maybe work. Maybe they do pro bono stuff. Maybe they do sliding scale. Something like that. Um, so there is this seeking of help or seeking services or trying to get closer to a person by way of exchanging of goods and services or money. Hmm. All right, then. <laughs> Interesting reading. I haven't, I haven't had a reading like, I've had a reading like this, like in a personal before. That was fun, I think. Yeah, that was a that was a that was a fun reading. Um, but anyway, I, I don't think I've ever talked sex work too heavily in a, in a in a general public reading. But here we are. Uh, so anyway, so I think whoever is in the position of power, whatever position that is, because in in one scenario that I painted for you, it's the woman and the rat's like, hey, can I get some of the, some of the breadcrumbs in your hand? Can I be fed here? And in other cases, it's like the woman is extending her hand to the rat. Again, please don't get too skeeved out by the animal itself and is like, hey, Mr. Rat, you're the one I need to work with. You're the one I need help from amongst all these other rats that are no good for me. Can you help me out? So there's just like this wanting more than what is available or wanting more than what is uh, what is able able to be given. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Libra, you need this. Because things are moving quickly, eight of eight of uh, eight of not swords, eight of uh, wands is quick communication. As much as much as you know, snail mail can be quick these days, especially right. But it's quick. As soon as something comes to your door, like if you if you've been waiting for a letter, like an actual letter in the mail, as soon as it hits the floor, as soon as you go to the mailbox and you see it's in there, you take it out, rip it open, read, 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 sign, 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 and put it right back in the mailbox. Like it's it's a quick turnaround, even if it's you know through to tr through traditional slow post. You know what I mean? And I feel you've been. This is this is. Something here has been calculated or. Um, foretold. Interesting. That's an interesting word. Foretold. Oh, okay. Um, so, oh wait, no, they're, they say that's fine. That's fine. They say, okay. So seven of wands. So I think you've been anticipating having to fight for something or having to stand your ground on something or having to kind of, you know, bat people away, bat away any type of controversial comments or any type of naysayers, people who are standing in your way, situations that are standing in your way, and you're ready to kind of, you know, take a swing. You know what I mean? Seven of Wands. So it's a defensive card most of the time. Uh, and that could be true for many of you. You might defend yourselves. You know, you might, <laughs> you know, if, if friends of yours learn about your hobbies, on only on on only fans or or people learn about hey this is what you're doing to make ends meet people are gonna be like uh, Stephanie what are you doing <laughs> Jermaine why are you doing that you know whoever you are you know whatever your name is and you could be like listen a girl or a guy's got to do what they got to do you know in in this economy you know I'm not gonna make it being no pizza delivery guy. <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic when I could be making so much more money if I just show somebody a tasteful shot of my butt. You know? <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing because for me, I'm not a prude. And not that you have to be a prude to be against it. It's more of like, I think it's laughable. Like, of all the things that a person can do to make extra money or to, to keep the lights on in their house, posting you know, scandalous photographs of themselves on the internet for money. That's like the worst thing. I mean, it can be, I guess, if you want to go back to like your white collar job in a, in a few months or a year or so, that could be a problem because people might, you know, use it against you. But as far as like, listen, I just, I just, morally speaking, done, done well, done with consent, 
done with everybody being at the age of consent, okay? I don't mind. And so maybe that's something that you're having to defend yourself against is people, for whatever reason, your friends, your family, strangers online who are just like, hey, I recognize you. What are you doing here? And, you know, someone might have like a savior complex, maybe. That happens sometimes, you know. People get this idea that sex workers of any kind need saving. And again, on on a moral tip, I understand where that comes from, but I just don't get it because most sex workers that I know, that I've talked to, it's it's for the money. It's a job. It's not like I'm doing this <laughs> to fulfill some deep, dark fantasy. It's like, no, it's a lucrative business and I don't have to work that much and I'm my own boss. Like, come on. <laughs> anyway, um, beyond the sex worker part, because again, that's not for many of you, but there's there's somebody out there that's in this line of work and hey, more power to you. Um, so beyond that, I just think you're having to defend your decisions. You're having to fight off people being nosy, perhaps. Um, so you might be rushing to the mailbox looking for whatever uh, piece of mail that is imperative to you. And you rush out there, you grab it, you go back in the house. And whoever you live with, hey, what's in that envelope? None of your business. It doesn't have to be anything salacious. It doesn't have to be anything scandalous. It doesn't have to be anything that's terribly uh, controversial, but they think so. The, the people are suspicious of you, Libra. People are like, what are, what's going on with you? Aha. People might feel you're keeping secrets. A Libra keeping secrets, it's possible. It's very much possible. Um, and, and first of all, any human being on earth can keep a damn secret. Okay. Uh, it's just some signs might do it more often, or they might be better at it, or they might have, if the reasoning is there, they might be super good at it. And it feels like Libra you might have certain irons in the fire that you don't want people to know about. And again, it's like it, it kind of, again, bleeds back into the whole sex work thing. Like your family, wherever you come from, might be ultra conservative or kind of religious or just, you know, we're decent people. We're just decent people, right? And decent people don't sell photographs of their toes to, to businessmen who live in Thailand. It's just not what it's just not what a respectable person does in the eyes of somebody in your family. For you, it's like that guy paid me five hundred dollars, or I don't know how much photos of toes go for. Okay, so I might be overstating or understating the value, but, <laughs> but it's like that. So there's this mystery about what you're doing. Going back to the mail, I feel as though some of you, if you are in litigation, if you are going through legal channels to get something done or official channels, you might be being sued and you're keeping that under wraps. You might be seeking something. Uh, you might be, you could be doing something with your ancestry for God's sakes. It doesn't have to be like you're out to get money or someone's out to get money from you. It could be you're trying to, you know, going on a, a, a journey of self-discovery, you know? And someone might be trying to look at your, you know, your results that you get back from like 23andMe or some shit like that. And, you know, people are like snooping over your shoulder and just like, excuse me, this is not your business. Leave me alone. And I don't think you're being as like outwardly defensive. If I'm honest, Libra, it feels like you're being sneaky. <laughs> and that's your business. That's Do what you want. You know, I, I don't know the details and I don't know why, but it doesn't feel like Libra is like, as much as this is like a fiery passionate card the illustration that we see there and the woman's like holding holding the uh, torch and she's about to swing it really really uh aggressively some of you are not being aggressive some of you are being really really hush hush about what you're doing <laughs> again like if you're doing anything online and it doesn't have to again it does, i mean pictures of feet i guess they're sexual like it's a fetish for somebody so it doesn't even have to be that and, that, and maybe that could be it you know some of you libras <laughs> Are like trying to keep it hush hush about what you're doing, and someone might think, she's t she's she is a sex worker. He's he's sending everybody dick pics and da da da. It's like no, I literally am sending pictures of my feet. I'm literally just snapping a fic a picture or two of my toes and sending it to people anonymously. But you know what I mean. So it's like, in some <laughs> some people around you might be thinking the worst of you. Or, or imagining, it doesn't even have to be sex. Oh, you know he's doing something bad or she's doing something bad. And it's like, I'm not doing anything bad. I'm just doing something that most people would think is kind of weird. Does that make sense? Something like that. 
So what else is happening? Yeah, man, you're doing it. You're doing it twice. Interesting. They're like twice. <laughs> you're 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 doing it twice. What does that mean? Okay, so you're being okay. So here's where some of that sneakiness comes from. It's not totally sneaky, but it's a little sneaky. Um, Knight of Swords. Oh, excuse me, not Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. I was, I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. Page of Swords, sneaky, definitely. Because <laughs> when I, I was, when I picked this up for some reason, I think I was looking at the wings and I was thinking of like the knights, they move fast, but actually the, the icon at the bottom is the one for pages. So instead of a knight, this is a Page of Swords, definitely sneaky. Um, you are keeping tabs on that mailbox. You are watching every day, looking for the mailman, looking for the mailwoman. Like, hey, 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 Sandra, hi, how are you? You, you like, rush out of the house. Hey, good afternoon, shaking hands and stuff. Can I get the mail, like, directly from you? So you can, like, go through it, pocket the piece of mail that you need so that whoever you live with doesn't get to see the envelope. Like, you're being so careful about the exchange of information Going on with the Eight of Wands, you're being very secretive about any communication you have between someone that you're, like, lusting after. If you are the sugar mama or the sugar daddy in the situation, you know, it, I, listen, I don't know, I don't know the context because there are stereotypes about sugar mamas and sugar daddies where maybe they are married and maybe they have a family and maybe they have, like, this little illicit affair on the side. I'm not sensing that. But if that plays a little bit into your situation, you definitely would be very careful about how you go about communicating with people. You might get a burner phone. You might get a second phone. And if you're... Sm <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to help you out. Because <laughs> I'm like... If you <laughs> I'm not here to help people cheat, okay? <laughs> and that's the thing. It's one of the... Listen, this is strange. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, again, dive into this situation. I feel as though there could be a, a person, man or woman, it doesn't matter, and you give money to someone outside of your home, whether you're married, dating, separated, divorced, I don't care. You like set someone up or someone setting you up and it's all hush hush. And the reason that the page is here is because there's like clues, there's like suspicion over that type of situation. Where's all this extra money coming from? Where do you go? Like once a day you disappear into your little home office and it's very quiet in there. It doesn't sound like you're making any business calls. You know what I mean? <laughs> or it's like, oh, I got this meeting. It's eight o'clock at night. Yeah, I gotta get on, I gotta get on this, I gotta get on this Zoom call. Close the door, lock the door, what? It's like suspicious AF, right? So Page of Swords is a sneaky spying type of energy. Interestingly, though, like I said, as much as this is a sneaky energy, it's known, it's just not confirmed. Because that ball of light that's emitting from her hands, whatever she's doing with her hands here, um, I get the sense that somebody, you might be trying to keep secrets, Libra, but you, but somebody knows. Or somebody's trying to keep secrets from you, but you already know. It's just not affirmed. You don't have the proof, but you are seeking the proof. This is very interesting. Oh, that's another thing. Going back to that job and like the whole exchanging of documents and like getting things certified and getting things processed and filed. Like maybe there's something with like, it's not, okay, I'm going to use this word. It's totally, it's totally way heavier than what I think it is, but it's like espionage. It's like. <laughs> it's like two spies. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're doing. What's that? What's that movie with Brad Pitt and uh, Angelina Jolie? Like Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Like you're trying to like take the other one out? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna assassinate you before you assassinate me. Now of course I hope you're not trying to do that. And actually I didn't watch that movie. I assume that's what they were doing. Like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but it's like I'm gonna get you before you get me. I'm gonna I'm gonna bust your cover. I'm gonna I'm gonna unveil your secrets before you unveil my secrets. It's something like that. It's very interesting. Um, and the light again that's in her hands is like giving me this idea that somebody here has a bang on in, uh, intuition. You might be psychic, you might be clairvoyant, you might be clairsentient. Um, you have some extraordinary ability. And that is not, I repeat, is not typical of the Page of Swords. Not typical of any of the pages, period.
Um, and by the way, this is a page of swords. This is air sign energy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it could be you. Um, or you're dealing with an, uh, someone who's very much like this. They don't have to be an air sign, of course. Um, but that's what this is giving me. Like this is giving me, if you, if you don't have this ability on your own, you could be in the, sir, oh, that could be like the secret, you know, communication. Like somebody might be hitting up their psychic through the DMs. You might have a psychic that you're very close with who, you, you know, you talk to through some type of app. Like, tell me what's going on with him. And your psychic's like, well, I think he's, I think he's got a sugar baby. And you're like, I knew it, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> it's all sneaky. It's all kind of, it's crazy. Yours isn't the craziest reading I've done so far for, for the month of October, but October seems to be a crazy month. And let me uh, say one more thing about what's been going on with the collective, just because I like to make these notations in case you guys want to know. I have been saying of people that have shown up in pages, kings, queens, they're not acting in their regular behavior. When we see a page, it's meant to be, or at least traditionally, it, it, it it's supposed to signal someone who's being immature, someone who has... Uh, a novice approach to things. They're very enthusiastic. They're very optimistic and excitable. And those are all interesting traits to have or, or, or positive. You can see a positive or a negative of all of those things. But this page is like really, really savvy, like smarter than the average bear kind of thing. Okay. And the psychic thing, if that's you or this person, if, if the page themselves, not with the help of anybody else, has these insights, that's unusual that, that I would say that about a page of swords. But because I chose this deck and that's the image that I see there, that's the vibe I'm getting. Okay. What else happens here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I said twice, right? I said two times. I don't, I don't remember what I was doing twice about. Something about the seven of wands. And so the other part of it was the king of wands. What was I saying about twice? Why was twice happening? You're like, you're moving quickly or you're moving through this... It's like the process or the progress happens two times or it's there's like two approaches perhaps i don't know what i was saying but i know that the next card that we were going to talk about was the king of wands so let's see what's going on here king of wands fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius you don't have to be dealing with a fire sign but here we go uh okay in some cases this is your boss this is somebody who has dominion and influence in your life. This could be a manager of yours. If you're like, going back to what I said earlier, if you're like a celebrity or like a influencer or something like that, this is somebody who kind of keeps you in line, keeps your schedule for you. Or this is somebody who kind of tells you what you should be doing, even if you or technically pay them like in those situations i find that fascinating with like celebrity life the fact that like agents and managers like are like no you got to do this you got to do that i pay you how are you telling me what to do i find that interesting um but anyway if, if that's your life you you understand that life you understand this person's influence in their in their purpose in your in, in your in your career you understand that um if it's not that type of work relationship if it's more traditional this is your manager they cut your checks right um, I feel like you and this person might be in a disagreement. Mm -hmm. And this could be why you have to do things sneakily because maybe you work very closely with this person. Maybe you're an assistant, a direct assistant to this person. Oh, that's interesting. Like, okay, this is... <laughs> um, maybe this person is has the scandal and you know the scandal as the employee, like you might know this person's personal business. Like they tell you to do something on their computer or they try to send you a file and within that file is something that you weren't supposed to see but you already seen it and then you gotta act like you didn't see it even though you know that you saw it and you know that what you saw was like either really, really bad for business, really, really shady in regarding their personal life or really, really illegal, right? Because again, I did say last month, for several signs, there was something about legal issues, right? 
So that could be what this is about. You might have dirt on your boss that you're turning over to authorities, that someone may have contacted you. It's like, we suspect your boss of XYZ. Do you have any information for us? And you're like, no, I don't. Click. And then you call them back two later. Okay, two days later. Okay, like, I do know something, but like, you can't tell him that I told you. Da, da, da. It's like you're trying to protect yourself in the middle of trying to bust somebody. And again, it's like a get them before they get you. Because this person, King of Wands, could be super suspicious. I already told you there's somebody else in this page of uh, Swords energy. There's a there's like a double cross po possibly happening here. Um, if it's not espionage and like insider trading or anything illegal, it would be <laughs> if you're an assistant to this person or you just work with them. You don't even have to be like their direct report or you don't have to report to them directly. You could just know that guy down at the end of the office or the woman at the end of the office, the big wig, you, you heard a rumor. <laughs> oh my God, that could also be what it is. Interesting. So let's say it this way. <laughs> it's two ways going back to the sex work thing. One, you guys know, or one of you, somebody here knows that the boss, the higher up, the manager, the, the, the owner of the, of the company, whatever, you know that they got a little side thing going on, even though they play happy family at home, happy husband, happy wife, all that shit, right? Five kids, two dogs, a parakeet, I don't care. <laughs> and you just know, like, that's their life. But you know, because you see coming into the office or you see, you know, you might be <laughs> going over their, their finances for them. You might balance the books for them. And you're noticing, hey, how come all this money is going towards these online purchases? And then, you know, you might be a little, you might be a little nosy and you might, you know, Google a couple of things. What does this company do? <gasps> it's a company that that does like online like exchanging of like illicit photos and you find out that this that this person your boss or whoever pays for sex in a weird way or pays for sexual fant whatever they do but their personal life is married kids all all the things right <laughs> the other way you can <laughs> spin this or or what what I what I what I saw here is that the king of wands is the one doing it so successful person or seemingly stable person, somebody who's supposed to have, you know, the, the, the dream, whatever the dream is, the American dream, the, the, <laughs> the freaking Egyptian dream. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what the dream is, but they seem to be solid. They seem to be an ideal member of society or of the community. Yes. Then you look online. Maybe you're just bored. You know, many of us have those days. You're just bored, kicking around some adult sites, maybe. And you're like, oh, is that Bob? And you click the video or you click the image. And you see Bob. That is definitely Bob's face. And now you see Bob's dick. And you're like, wow, I've seen Bob's dick. Bob's out here doing his thing for whatever reason. And now I know what Bob's genitals look like. Great. It's a weird, it's a weird situation. <laughs> anyway, King of Wands energy, whoever they are, however they relate to you, Libra, they, uh, <laughs> they're very, um, in control of themselves. Um, if you know what, you know what might happen, and this is probably why you're trying to do sneaky things or someone is being very hush hush about everything is like this person, they're not going to go down without a fight. They're not going to suffer any type of accusations and not have a defense in play. This person, yeah, like you're not going to make a mockery of me. You're not going to destroy my family. You're not going to destroy my career. If you come after me, I'm going to come after you 10 times harder. This person, I don't think there was bad blood between you at some point in the beginning. But if things keep revving up or if information keeps exchanging, if you are trying to, in some cases, if if this is going to your business world or your business life, your 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 career, if this is someone who's tied up in embezzlement or something, you could be implicated. And who wants to go down? <laughs> who wants to go down with that ship? And I'm laughing because earlier, what did we see in this card? All those rats at the bottom of the Six of Pentacles. 
like rats from a sinking ship. Like that, whatever that phrase is, I think that's approximately what the phrase is. Like rats jumping from a sinking ship or something like that. You got to preserve yourself. Now listen, I don't know the details. I don't know what's legal. I don't know what's right. I don't know what is karmically the best thing to do. That's up for you to decide. That's up for your own discernment. But it feels like if this person gets wind that they're in trouble, there, there will be hell to pay. And you know that about them. They're not going to take any accusations lightly. They're not going to respond too kindly to you exposing them or, or, or having their dirty laundry aired out for other people to know about. If that's you, that's how you feel. You don't want anybody to know about your personal business, what your kinks are, what your kinks aren't, whatever. <laughs> it's none of your business how I spend my money. It's none of your business why I go on a business trip to Thailand two times a year. It's none of your business, you know? And <laughs> I'm not here to protect that, but I'm just saying that's what that feels like. It, this is um, King of Wands. Not going to, not going to like it is, is basically what that feels like. Now, final card in your main spread is the strength card in reverse. Major Arcana for Leo could be dealing with a Leo, but you don't have to be. So I think this whole situation puts you and or other people in a, in a, in a precarious position. Ah, it could be that. Could be a rude awakening with the strength being in the reverse. Um, it could be before. Mm, that's interesting. This is a late addition to it. It could have been at some point here you were bribed, Libra. Or you tried to bribe someone, but, you know, the person usually seeking the information isn't, quote-unquote, the bad guy, but sometimes they are. Um, but there could have been, like, this proposal. Keep your mouth shut. Here's, here's some cash. I'll keep your secret. You keep my secret. We won't be enemies to each other, right? But that proposal of a bribe or that mutual let's just protect each other, let's not rat each other out, <laughs> rats, okay, let's not rat each other out, that's actually like a very fickle agreement or that wasn't a, that wasn't a solid offer. The, the offer may have been taken and that's kind of sh shady, I guess, in, in backstreet dealings, I suppose. If you agree to something to keep your mouth shut about it, but then still go and report on the person who basically paid for your silence, Listen, I don't know the details, <laughs> but that's what this feels like with the strength card. Somebody assumes because of the money they have, the, the clout they have, the power and the access that they have, the influence that they have, that people will, you know, buy into and, and support their secrets, support their secret keeping and, and, and not expose them. And I feel that was not a, they're used to going that way. And in you, Libra, they found the wrong one. <laughs> Basically, the person who was going to say, you know what? I'm not going to be an accessory to bribery or, or an accessory to an embezzlement. I'm not going to be an accessory to your weird sex scandal or whatever you're doing. And there's like this selling out feeling with the strength card in reverse. Where you thought you had someone who you could trust. And I think I said this before, it's like a double cross. It's like, et tu brute? You know, something like that. <laughs> Where you thought you had someone in your pocket. Someone thought they had you in their pocket, Libra, is, is more what it feels like. And you're like, no, I, I'm not interested in being your fall guy. I'm not interested in being wrapped up in your weird scandals. No, ma'am, no, sir. <laughs> and you start, and that's the secrecy, and that's the anticipation of messages and defending yourself and getting yourself possibly lawyered up or possibly aligned with people who can help protect you after the fall of this person. Once this person goes down in some form or fashion, once they are exposed in some form or fashion, the spotlight might shift to you and you want to sit there, Libra, as most people would, and be hands totally clean. Check both sides not a stain on my hands. You know why? Because, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's smart. But again, I don't know if it's actually, quote unquote, fair or right. Because it could be that. I don't, I don't know the legalities of this. Hence, you would need to seek the help of a professional. I don't know the legalities of you agreeing to a bribe and then turning that information over to police. I assume there's like, what do you call that? Oh shit, what do you call that? 
what's that called when you do that? You turn evidence, right? You turn evidence or something like that, or you become a witness or, or a key witness or eye, eyewitness or you, you become an informant. Thank you. Something like that. You know, I listen, I don't know the legalities. I don't know where the rub is here or what, what the, where the gray area is or whatever. You know more better than I do. Now, your outcome for October, King of Pentacles. Hmm. So some of you, this could be King of Wands. This could be another side of this person. They got money. Be careful. They got money. Like if you are little old David, here comes Goliath in terms of money. You don't have but two pennies to rub together. This person, he's like fucking Scrooge McDuck. He's got a vault full of gold coins that he goes swimming in every day. You know what I mean? Like this person, they got more money than you know. They have more more access and ability to buy their way out of the situation than you might be aware of. So be careful. Um, in other cases, this is how you're going to end up. By the way, this is a earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an earth sign, but you don't have to be. Um, this could be how you end up in this situation. You could end up with more money than you know what to do with. Your fortunes could change. You know, you could parlay, or excuse me, parlay. You could uh, transform a tragedy, not a tragedy, a scandal, right? People do that all the time. Like after you are witness to some horrible stuff and you have that insider information, people come to you, news. they want your news story, they want you to write a book, they want you to come on their talk show and talk about it, blah, 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 blah. So there could be some financial opportunities that come out of this that benefit you and all you got to do is sell your story. And I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know if that sounds great to you. I don't know if that sounds sleazy to you. I don't know. Or <laughs> going back to our storyline of the dear old sex work, you could have had this very regular life before 2020. You were a lawyer, you were a teacher, you were a bus driver, whatever. Now your toes are making you thousands of dollars. Pictures of you, you know, in your kitchen, in your underwear, just looking all normal. People pay money for that shit. Or people want to see your see you do whatever online and they pay you whatever money for your private time. That can quickly turn cash or turn into a profitable cash making endeavor. That's why I personally, number one, I, <laughs> I don't knock it because I have nowhere, I've got no uh, dog in the fight, so who? what do I care? But I know for certain it pays to do that work. It's not an endorsement, it's not me telling you to do it, drop everything you're doing, all levers across the world and join the sex industry, no. But if you're pursuing that, or you're using that to, to, to get by in this moment, you might find, financially speaking, you will make more money in that line of work, however, whatever form it's taking, than you did in your traditional job. And that might be a reason to keep it up. I don't know. I'm not trying to influence you, but that feels like the money of th this card, the presence of this King of Pentacles is heavily focused on money. There are other aspects of the Pentacles, other aspects of the King of Pentacles, but no, money. Money, 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 money. Interesting. Overall energy, mm-hmm. Eight of Swords. So at some point, and maybe still for many of you, there's a lot of uncertainty here. What am I gonna do? How can I get out of this? How can I, how can I <laughs> like get away scot-free? Uh, you think that, the other person or people that you're dealing with are thinking that. Um, some of you, interestingly, I don't, uh, now this is very odd because this is not at all the traditional um, interpretation of this card, but I'm gonna tell you where it's coming from. Some of you are blindly taking a risk. I don't know if that's good, I don't know if that's bad. It feels kind of okay, I'm gonna say that. Now the reason I say that is because of the moon behind her and how it's encircling her head. So you will feel intuitively that whatever you're doing that seems risky, that people might tell you that's a bad idea, Libra, or Libra, are you sure? That seems kind of sketch. You're kind of like, trust me, I, th I, I got this. Or you're like, I'm pretty sure, like I have faith in this. Mm, some of you have faith in this, that it's gonna work out for you, and that's great. Um, 
because the moon can talk about our emotions and you know other things but i'm i'm taking it as like intuitively even though your circumstances around you other people might tell you hey you're kind of stuck with the options that you have in front of you there's nothing in your situation that's going to improve or you can't do it that way your intuition your hunches are telling you actually i can do it another way and and, and here i go and i'm going to do it very interesting um yeah, it's like, again, sort of, it doesn't have to be sex work. It, like I said before, it could just be you make jewelry, you're a designer of some type, you you could turn into a model, you, it doesn't even have to be sexual, you could just start modeling, you know? <laughs> it, it's just like something you never thought of doing, but now a lot of people are finding all these types of hustles in this economy. That was happening before the pandemic, but now that it's here, it has really given people a lot of drive to succeed on their own terms. And like I told you earlier, someone might tell you in this family, in this community, it's just not the conventional thing to do. It's not the proper thing to do. And you could just be modeling. You could be modeling clothes or you could be, you know, doing, uh, what do you call that? Like portraits. Like someone could just use you as a model and you could be like holding an object like something that they've crafted, but you just hold up like a frame or something like that. And it's weird because maybe they want you to be naked or maybe they want you to dress a certain way or have your hair a certain way and your family just doesn't understand it. So that eight of swords is your family and your friends and your community where you grew up. They're saying, no, live life like this, be in this lane. These are, these are the limitations of what you can and cannot do. These are the proper ways to be. But intuitively you're like, no, I think I can make a really good living, make my own schedule and feel, f listen, you know what I'm saying. So Libra, <laughs> I don't want to ramble on here, uh, but you know, I always do anyway. So Libra, that's your reading for October. Um, if you liked it, there's a like button down below. Go ahead and hit that for me. If you want to leave a comment, let me know how this uh, resonates in your life. That'd be great. Feel free to share the video and subscribe to the channel, my friend, if you haven't subscribed. What do you got to lose? You know, you're making lots of money selling your toe, toe pictures everywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you guys. Um, but anyway, um, Libra, I'll be back soon with your mid-October reading. Um, for your season, again, I will be going live on the 10th at 7 p.m. here on the channel. So if you want to join me for that, feel free to do so. And make sure that you check out your playlist for your birthday message, your September messages. And uh, once I do the live, that'll be added to your playlist as well. Okay, guys? All right, Libra, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care.